Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I want to talk about carousel scams. The goal of this video is to bring more awareness to these online e-commerce scams so that you can prevent scams and prevent yourself from getting scammed. So I was motivated to make this video today because of an article that I read. Young sisters in Singapore worked part-time and sold old textbooks to buy mom an iPhone and ended up getting scammed. $1,250 Singapore dollars on carousel. They wanted to cheer their mother up. This is another story which is quite sad. Singapore man loses savings meant for special needs daughter to carousel scammer. The buyer asked to pay via carousel protection. This problem is getting quite serious. So $1 million were lost in December 2022. To these scammers and a total of two million dollars were lost in the year 2022. I'm not sure if Carousel is doing a good job at preventing scams but the thing is there is no sure way to prevent scams. Many of the scams that happened last year involve phishing scams where the buyer will ask for your phone or email and they will send you a link saying that payment has already been made and they will also send you a screenshot to show you that payment has been made. So that link actually goes to a fake website that looks authentic and the buyer will ask you to enter your bank account details so that you can get your payment. And many actually fell for that scam. So that's quite problematic. The more straightforward scam would be asking the buyer to send the money over and not ship the item and that's what exactly happened to the two school girls. So is there really any way to spot a scam? Well, let's take a look. Carousel used to verify their users with SingPass but they stopped doing that in March 2022. I'm not sure why they stopped that sync pass verification process because this is definitely more useful compared to verifying your phone number or email address. The phone number or email address cannot be tied to a specific person but your sync pass NRIC or ID number is specific to that person. So without sync pass verification now all these verified badges are worthless. Let's take a look at my carousel pitch. So as mentioned, the verified label is completely useless. Here I actually have links to my Facebook page, my email address, my phone, and this is probably the old SingPass verification icon. The thing is, all this can be fake, except for the SingPass verification, which is now not in use. So just take note that all this can be fake and you might be wondering if it's possible to spot a scammer just by checking the reviews. Um, maybe, maybe not. For reviews, usually I will look out for the number of reviews. If there are more than 100 reviews, then I would place a bit more weight to the reviews. But if there are only 10, 20 reviews, that person can still be a scammer. I mean, even for me with 161 positive five-star reviews, I can still scam people. In fact, recently I just sold a Microsoft tablet. Um, it's somewhere, ah, it's here. I sold this Microsoft tablet for 1,050 Singapore dollars. I was able to get that person to transfer the money to me using pay now before I shipped the tablet out to him. So uh, yeah, it's quite risky for the buyer, but I sold this. So it is possible for me to scam that buyer if I wanted to, because I was able to get him to transfer the money before I shipped this out. The thing is, it's quite easy for you to create multiple carousel accounts and pretend to buy and sell from all these accounts to rack up the number of ratings and reviews. So all this can be faked. And if you take a look at my listings, um, I mean, these listings, they look legitimate. They have uh, photos, um, the photos are quite well taken. 
all these photos can be faked because you can actually go to review websites and download their photos to upload on carousel and pretend those products are yours you know the classic saying if the deal is too good to be true it probably is well it's actually not that easy to know if a deal is too good to be true or if the pricing is suspicious so for example these two young sisters they wanted to pay $1,250 for this phone. Now I can actually buy this phone from a reputable seller for $1,315 after using all my credit card discounts and coupon codes. And the price difference with this versus from what I can buy is just $65. So how can you say that this price is too good to be true or this price is too low or suspicious? So the mistake that these two sisters made was they chose to have online transaction instead of face-to-face -face transaction for such a high value item. And the seller had good reviews. Um, the seller had at least 10 good reviews and the account was two years old. So as you can see, the age of the account has no meaning at all and the number of good reviews have no meaning at all. So the seller was able to get the two girls to transfer the money using PayNow to his bank account. And what's interesting is after the two girls discovered the scam, they reported the case to the police and the police told them that it was impossible, almost impossible, to track the scammer down. So even if you have the scammer's phone number and bank account details, the scammer cannot be tracked as well. I find that to be very surprising. And here you can see how helpful the scammer is at advising the two sisters that they will incur platform fee when they use Carol Pay or Carousel Protection. I used to think there were risks involved in scamming people, like there is the risk of getting caught and going to jail, but as you can see, the risk is actually quite low. The police said the scammer was almost impossible to track. I was actually scammed before as well, but not on Carousel. This happened many years ago, and I was scammed with a face-to-face -face transaction. So I bought a second-hand iMac. I met up with the seller, I paid the seller cash and I took the iMac back home and realized that I could not power the iMac on. So there is risk even with face-to-face -face transaction. If possible, it would be great if you can test out the product. Let's take a look at phishing scams. So these are scams where the victims are tricked into entering their banking ID, passwords, and OTP onto fake websites. And as you can see, many are tricked. So it is possible that you may be tricked as well. So it says here that scammers would pose as prospective buyers on Carousel and would ask the sellers in this case victims to key in their banking details on spoof websites to facilitate payment. The thing with online transaction is if you want to pay with PayLow or PayNow, you will have to provide that phone number to them so that they can transfer you the money or you can transfer them the money. But the thing is these scammers, they would include this link saying that payment has already been made. So uh, you're supposed to click on the link and enter your banking details to see the payment. Um, don't click on their links. If you want to check your payment, click on the bank app that you have already installed. Don't click on the links that is provided by the scammers. You see, me as a seller, I would always ask for the phone number of the prospective buyer because I want to give them the tracking link for the delivery and I may SMS or WhatsApp them the photo of the warranty or the serial number. So I need that phone number. So it is not suspicious if the buyer or seller actually asks for emails or phone numbers, but it is very suspicious if there is a link 
uh, to a website that requires you to input your banking details so just be very careful if you want to check payment check it on the official bank's website www.dbs.com www.uob.com.sg don't click on the link on the bank link provided by the seller or the buyer let me talk about carousel protection because this has been used by scammers to scam people as well carousel protection used to be called carol pay so carousel protection is an insurance program if you pay for a product and the seller does not ship your product carousel will refund you the money so that's the insurance that's provided you go with carousel protection and this is not free this is 4.5 percent of the listed price uh, with most of my listings i will provide two payment options payment with carousel pay 4.5 percent fees on top of the listed price and pay now with no fees so when you take a look at these two payment options would you be more likely to go with pay now because you don't have to pay extra fees or would you go with carousel pay and pay the 4.5 percent fees the thing is if you want to buy very expensive items the fees can add up like significantly for example if you want to buy a tablet that is one thousand dollars that's an extra 45 dollars more so that is quite significant significant enough to turn off people significant enough to push people to pay with pay now where they run the risk of getting scammed so how does carousel pay or carol protection actually work let's say i am a seller and i am a scammer so i'm trying to sell this tablet without shipping i'm trying to get people to pay me the money but i don't want to send them the tablet so in this case i will tell them to pay me through pay now because there is no insurance if you are a buyer and you suspect that i am a scammer you should not pay through pay now you should pay with carol pay or carousel protection because you as a buyer will get the insurance so if i do not ship the tablet because i'm a scammer then you can get your full refund let's say now i'm a legitimate seller and the buyer is the scammer so i want to sell the tablet i want to get the buyer to pay me the money first if the buyer pays me through pay now no problem if the buyer says he or she wants to pay through carousel pay sure no problem at all the buyer will say that he or she has paid and i will check my carousel account this is how i check go to the carousel home page your account page tap on sale and tap on in progress or to start and you will see the payment here within the carousel app there is no need for you to enter your bank info credit card number otp at all and because i don't see any order here it means the buyer has not paid through carousel pay yet for the carousel protection scam to work the buyer will have to send you this link which will go to this fake carousel website where you type in your banking details or credit card number or otp so when you see any link in any message that you receive always scrutinize the link scrutinize the url to make sure that it is the actual website so if you are a seller who wants to use carousel pay check your orders from within the carousel app not on some other app or website if you are a buyer who wants to use carousel protection pay through the carousel app pay within the carousel app don't pay through third-party apps or some other website if you have to click on a link do scrutinize the link very carefully check that the link actually goes to a legitimate website check the url from the address bar and if you are not sure then just don't go through with it if you are receiving payment you don't have to enter 
banking ID, you don't have to enter your password, you don't have to provide OTP, you don't have to give out your credit card number to receive payment. To receive payment, um, you just provide your pay now number and get the person to transfer and hopefully you have set a notification with your pay now so when you when the person says that the payment has been sent you will receive that notification from your bank you don't need to receive that notification from the buyer one tip you can use to identify fake websites is and you have to remember this in order for this to work you can enter a fake id and fake password into the website to see whether or not that website actually accepts your fake ID and fake password. So if the website accepts your fake ID and fake password, it obviously is a phishing site. So that's one uh, tip you can use to determine whether the site is legitimate or not. Scams are getting more sophisticated and there are so many scams nowadays. So don't underestimate scammers. And sometimes it just takes that little bit of carelessness to be scammed. I mean, nowadays there are so many notifications on your phone. You may accidentally just uh, read a message too quickly and click on a link too quickly and type in your password too quickly. So be careful with the messages that you read. If you are not sure, always go for the true and try method of face-to-face -face transaction and make sure you check the product to know that it's actually working and don't be scammed like me uh, like the fake 40 iMac that I bought the last thing I want to say is if you are not embarrassed to share your story of you being scammed share them in the comment section below to educate others and for those people who want to judge those stories please don't because as I have mentioned earlier in this video there is no sure way to spot a scam everything online can be fake so don't judge those people who have been scammed because it only tells me that you are overconfident all right I hope this video is useful so be careful out there don't be overconfident and don't get scammed